kicking everything over. A uh, quick little one is when would I use shot and when would I use stop? Um, I just looked at the videos and I didn't quite cover it as well as I uh, thought. Picking my nose here, aren't I? But it's very nice, so I'm going to carry on. Um, right, <laughs> I've lost the plot completely here. So, when would I pick sh shot over stop? So, as a sort of simple rule, when I'm fishing in three foot and less, I like to use stops. One, because, say, if I'm fishing in three foot and you know, when I say about like airy fairy rigs and laying them in, whereas when you're fishing in shallow water, sometimes it can be better to lay it in because there's less water, if that's what makes any sense. Whereas when you're fishing deeper, I like to feed my bait, lay me bulk on it, hold me float, or drop it in, or just lay me float over it, sit and let wait for a bite. Whereas in shallow water, I found that sometimes, you know, by having like a little spread bulk or you know, if there's a lot of fish there, I might want to move all the bulk right onto the hook length knot. Then I prefer stops. But basically, whenever I'm going to, or I might move it, or I'm going to have shot close to the hook, I pick stops. Whenever I'm going to make a rig and I'm not going to change the shot, then I look to use shot. So, again, just an easy rule. Um, three foot or less stops. Um, any deeper than that, shot. Job's a good one. So, uh, take care, and um, I hope catch for you on the weekend. It's looking to be chucking it down, so I think we're going to get wet. And, um, yeah, I will do another one soon for you. Take care, boys. See you later.